Hi Virgo, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your love bite. Virgo, the, uh, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you, leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers, welcome in newcomers. Okay Virgo, oh the sun, queen of wands. Uh -uh. The seven of pentacles. Ace of Swords, King of Pentacles in reverse, Wheel of Fortune in reverse, Temperance in reverse, Seven of Cups in reverse and the Seven of Swords. Knight of Wands in reverse, bottom of my deck. I guess uh, one person is uh, taking back their power. They're taking back their power, they're shining, they're looking good. The other person is a bit disappointed. They're feeling a bit ungrounded. They're coming to the realization that with or without them, this Queen of Wands is shining. They did see, they do see this Queen of Wands as their happiness, but there's disappointment because they're coming to some clarity that they are not either ready, they feel stuck, they feel imbalanced. Let's see, I'm going to clarify these cards before saying anything too much here, Virgo. Let's start with your dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other now, what that would be, and then we'll do the clarification card by card. So, Virgo and the person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Virgo and the person. Virgo and the person. Let's take a few more Virgo from another deck and if any of you are looking for personal readings Virgo, my email is in the description box below. You can reach me there and Virgo, last few days, um, February end, I'm shutting down personal re uh, readings. Um, March, I won't be doing any for personal reasons but uh, maybe in April I'll begin again. So Virgo and their person spirit, Virgo and their person. Good to go. Let's start your reading, Virgo. The first card here says, I took an oath with God and you to stand by your side for eternity. I made a promise to find you in every lifetime and take your hand in eternal spiritual marriage. A union is sacred and divine. I get so frustrated by the intense telepathy, the dreams and the strong sexual energy even though I am alone. Your hunger and desire for me has me burning up but you are nowhere to be found. The passion is an all-consuming, unextinguishable fire and it's driving me crazy. I'm scared. You will not accept me now. I'm damaged and not deserving of your love. I haven't apologized because I don't feel deserving of your forgiveness. I haven't been able to forgive myself for the way I treated you. My family doesn't understand our connection. I've told them how I feel about you and tried to explain it. But they have particular ideals and don't understand our spiritual love. Being one with you intimately is home to be. I desire to be one with you and home with you. The thought of another being with you kills me. Darling, you are mine. I'm willing to off offer an olive branch to you if I'm able to communicate with you. I would gladly accept an olive branch from you I long for peace and I miss you. I wish I could have loved you the way you deserved to be loved. You will always have a special place in my heart. Nobody else can fill. Every song I hear reminds me of you. Aren't you tired of overthinking? and being so hard on yourself, you can deliver yourself out of pain, fear and frustration and you will see what I have seen in you all along. 
All right, so Virgo, these were some of your messages. If these were resonating, let's start your reading with an angel blessing card. Let's see what my angels have for you today as a blessing, guidance, advice, or a message for Virgo. Commitment. Well, of course, commitment means commitment. Maybe there is a lack of commitment in this connection, uh, Virgo, from what I'm seeing of the cards. Maybe one, this Queen of Wands wanted commitment and this King of Pentacles is not in a position to offer that commitment. But uh, this card actually means committing to yourself first. If you don't commit to yourself, if you don't have pride, if you don't you know, love yourself enough, don't expect it from anyone else either. I do feel that this Queen of Wands is committing to themselves. So let's see. Spirit, what's the Sun card? What's the Sun card? Sun card. Oh. I think this is the Queen of Wands who's um, who's decided that my happiness is more important. It's like I I deserve to be happy. I I exude warmth, I exude happiness and I'm now going to take back my power. Maybe they are, they are rejecting a love offer. Somebody with whom they feel could, could be too chaotic. I don't want any stress or anxiety in my life. I have to keep my boundaries up. It could be uh, the Queen of Wands who's bringing in the tower. Queen of Wands, since you're in the upright, may I give you the mic? Would you like to say something here to Virgo's reading? Queen of Wands has the mic. Queen of Wands says, yeah, I'm getting unstuck, uh, Omkara Taro. Why? Why are you getting unstuck? Because I'm an empress. I don't chase. I don't accept less than, less than what I deserve. I know what I bring to the table. I, I, I'm only attracting good things into my life. I'm attracting happiness into my life. I'm following my own dreams and passions. I don't want to get stuck in a situation which will eventually, I know, lead to disappointment. Okay, very confident. Queen of Wands, Empress. Okay, why, why, why do you think, why do you think you'll uh, be disappointed? What's the Seven of Pentacles? I think this Empress has come to some clarity. Yeah, they want an equal equal give and take connection. Mm, they want a connection which is, you know, healing, which is equal give and take, a good partnership. But they've come to some kind of a realization here in this connection. What is that? What's the Ace of Swords? What have you come to realize, Empress? that there is no new beginning here, that you feel you'll probably end up feeling like a fool and before that you must halt this connection. They feel there is no chance of a new beginning here. Why? Why Why do you say that? Because I think uh, they've given it a lot of thought. They've given it a lot of thought and realized that in this connection they would end up either being uh, alone all the time or just burdened by carrying the weight of this connection. Why? Because there's too much drama attached to this. There's too much drama attached to this. They could be dealing with a person who's not in a position to offer commitment. This is a king of pentacles in reverse. King of pentacles upright Virgo is a person who's ready to offer commitment, take care of the person, you know, or, you know, just be there for the long haul. But I think this empress has realized that this would be very immature. I, I would probably, you know, get overwhelmed by the end of it and be always lonely and sad and feel like a fool if I put my all my all into a person who's not ready to offer my commitment. King of Pentacles, yeah, I think this Empress is turning their back to this uh, King of Pentacles in reverse and shutting this door down, yes, shutting this chapter. I'm turning my back to this. I'm closing the door. Why? Because they feel that there is there, there is no possibility of, of any kind of positive movement ahead. And Empress always 
is a pure soul. They always move towards growth and abundance and fertility. So this empress has quickly realized that no, this is not the right place. Why do why why do you feel that way? That the wheel of fortune is stuck. Why do you feel this way? One more. This empress is very intuitive, very intuitive. I think they're they're manifesting a brand new beginning, brand new chapter. They're listening to their spirit guides, magician, uh, high priestess, this very, very powerful person who says, you know what, I'm calling this quits. I'm halting this connection because this connection I foresee to be very imbalanced in the future. Okay, temperance in reverse temperance in reverse yeah i think this empress doesn't want to be in any kind of situation that for just a little bit of you know happiness they get trapped in a place which they can't get out of this is like momentary pleasure this is greed this is like saying i'm happy now but they don't want to get trapped in a situation which will keep them stuck and bound where they are not the chosen ones maybe they want to be chosen, they don't want to be an option, they don't want to be in a situation which is probably full of lies and cheating and deception or third parties or something. Uh, seven of Cups in reverse, Seven of Cups in reverse, yes, uh, this Empress is halting this connection because they realize that there is no possibility of getting chosen and having a happily ever after. What's the Seven of Swords? What's the seven of swords? Somebody knows their value and worth. Yeah, this empress knows their value and worth and uh, well, I think is done giving over giving their love or something. This empress knows their worth. They know what they bring to the table. They want to be treated right, respected, uh, not be in a situation where either they are a secret or there are secrets. This empress is shutting the door and saying, full stop, I'm closing this out. This empress, I think, feels that uh, there's too much drama and lack of investment. So, Knight of uh, Wands in reverse. Why was this the overall energy spirit for Virgo's reading? Yeah, this, uh, this uh, empress doesn't want to be an option. They don't want to be somebody who may or may not get chosen. They don't want to be, you know, standing at crossroads for the rest of their life. This empress commands that somebody come towards them and choose them. And they feel that this king of pentacles is immature or just trying to be a player or this is momentary. It's not going to go anywhere. So yes, this empress is deciding to invest in themselves, commit to themselves right so that's the message for you today virgo till next time then love and light take care namaste